Hi, Preston Allen here today. Uh, lighting's a little weird. Looks like Blair, Blair Witch Project, but I'm uh, in an attic with a small water heater, and I wanted to show you a TPR valve. So let me see if I can uh, switch it around right here. Okay, so this is a uh, small water heater uh, in a room above the garage, and I thought it would be, I had one of these with me, it'd be a perfect uh, place to show you a TPR valve. This is a TPR valve right here there's basically a spring in there that depresses it has to be piped down to the catch pan so what this is there's a spring in there and i actually have one here i'll show you um, and that depresses if for some reason this is an electric water heater see the electrical line should be in conduit um, there's electrical or gas but if for some reason that thing malfunctions and the water heater just keeps heating and heating and heating you know, that's a lot of pressure, that water, and it could explode unless there was a pressure relief valve. So it has this spring. Let me see if you can let me put it by the window where you can see. You can see the spring down in there, and again, that depresses if one of these two uh, um, circumstances is met. And it says right on it, let's see, I think it's... Uh, See, it says on there, I think it's, yeah, 200, let me see if I can get it, 210 degrees or 150 PSI, pounds per square inch. So, if this thing malfunctions and the water keeps heating and it either hits 210, which is just a little bit less than boiling, or 150, um, uh, 150 PSI, then that, that spring will depress and it'll let off that steam or that pressure down into the catch pan, which should go out the, um, since this is in an attic, it has a catch pan with a drain. But again, it's uh, it's the temperature pressure relief valve or TPR valve. Um, it's to keep the uh, water heater from exploding basically, and they have to be piped down uh, or else it could be a scalding um, issue. So. This has been Preston Sound with Home Inspection Carolina. If you ever have any home inspection questions or anything we could ever help you with, uh, check out our website, homeinspectioncarolina.com. And, uh, hey, subscribe if you learned something here. Uh, it helps us out. Thanks a lot.